Hello, my name's Adam Birch. I'm a temporary vet on the British Virgin Islands in the Caribbean. I'm recording this message to uh, appeal to anyone who can provide aid uh, due to the devastation caused by the largest hurricane to hit the Eastern Caribbean, Hurricane Irma. This hurricane um, had on average wind speeds of up to 200 miles an hour, uh, reaching gusts of up to 280 miles an hour in the more exposed areas. To put this into perspective, the average Boeing 747 requires 150 miles per hour to get airborne, so you can imagine the damage that's been caused. Um, there are um, no trees left standing, many have been uprooted, um, there are majority of buildings have been quite severely damaged, walls falling down, windows and doors imploded and roofs torn off, um, and electric and water supplies cut to most places on the island. Um, the communications on island are very limited, um, except in the capital of Roadtown, um, so communication between different sites on the island is incredibly limited um, and it's very difficult to, um, to organise um, on, on, on the island at the moment. Um, other than the obvious humanitarian crisis we have at the moment, there is quite a severe animal crisis, um, be it uh, small animals, domesticated pets, uh, livestock, horses, um, or uh, animals in the shelter that don't actually have a home um, and are waiting adoption. Many have evacuated the island due to the crisis and have had to leave their animals behind, which is obviously an unthinkable position to be in. Um, and uh, many of many people have lost everything. Um, there's a wide uh, range of people from different backgrounds on the island, from rich to poor, and the uh, the situation is quite dire at the moment. Um, nurses at the practice on Tortola, the veterinary practice, canine cats and critters, run a animal shelter for domesticated pets and horses. Um, which has also been severely damaged and most of the buildings have been um, demolished. Um, water reserves on the island, fresh water is very limited, many um, systems have been blown over and water has been lost. Uh, vegetation is very um, minimal due to the storm blowing most of the trees away um, and feed and shelter is, as I've said, very scarce. Um, colleagues and friends around the UK, um, the BVI, um, and most of the world have um, work, been working around the clock to provide funding, support, uh, means of transporting goods over to the island to provide relief um, and uh, raise awareness for, of the crisis to the wider public. Um, vets um, who are based on the island have also managed to um, get the, uh, the US and Puerto Rico to agree to waive all paperwork for domesticated pets entering the island and entering the USA due to the BVI being rabies free. DEFRA in the UK also meeting to discuss whether or not this is going to be extended to the UK or not. Um, my colleague Sarah Weston, who is one of the vets originally from the island, um, has managed to arrange amongst other things with the Worldwide Veterinary Service to provide a relief vet and vet nurse for the island to provide first aid support. So we have got the initiation of, um, of the veterinary care on the island um, in the next few days. Um, we're also working with Adam uh, Paris Gandola at the Tortolan Humane Society to um, provide um, support and um, transportation of the animals at the Humane Society to Puerto Rico where they can be fostered and sheltered um, while the crisis is um, managed in the British Virgin Islands. Um, any aid, um, any persons or organisations who are able to provide funding, support, expertise, organised assistance would be very much appreciated for trying to deal with this crisis um, and it will make a massive difference um, to any of the animals that are in these dire circumstances on the island. Um, if you can please get in contact with us via um, virginislandvet at gmail.com or you can find us on the Facebook group um, Hurricane Irma Animals-BVI and we'd be grateful for any support that you can provide us during this time. Thank you very much.